Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Asian Psycho. I'm bringing you guys this really quick, super fast review on the Scorpions, um, the Scorpions and Spiders XM8. This is the new st standard um, assault rifle for this month, and in celebration, or not really celebration, but in, you know, recognition of the Spiders versus Scorpions, um, you know, face-off event that Combat Arms is holding this month, or it like the Combat Arms event of the year. Um, Nexon has decided to release. <coughs> Sorry about that, I just woke up. Um, decided to release the new, the edition, special editions of the XM8. And um, let's get started on their reviews. Now, do keep in mind that um, I believe if you've signed up, for, or one of the first people who signed up for the uh, Fire Spurs for Scorpions events, you will receive, I'm not too sure about this, but I did anyway, I, you will receive a one-day Scorpion um, XM8 and a one-day Spiders XM8, regardless of what side you're on, you'll receive them both for one day anyway. <clears throat> You'll get a one-day Legion, and you'll get a one-day or a free Papa case, the new mystery supply case that they just came out um, with the last patch of this morning. In fact, <clears throat> at the time of recording, so um, do do excuse my constant like coughing thing because I just did woke up, wake up, and uh, normally when I have right after I wake up, I have a clogged throat. God knows what, but anyways, so. As for the scorpions themselves, or I keep calling them scorpions, the exmates themselves, they're exactly identical. I've been hearing rumors that like, oh, they're different somehow. But in my in my opinion, I use both of them, and they're not that much different. In fact, they're not different at all. So I don't see what's so different about the two or between the two. So if you guys would like to let me know, then please leave a comment below, and I will try to read them, read up on them. And um, I've also heard rumors that um, Nexon will only give out the free one day stuff, like the free one day exmates, the free one day legion which is the new next epic weapon which is a minigun that you don't even need a spec for which is completely overpowered and i don't know why nexon released that they must be out of their minds now but they've always been thinking about it and um <clears throat> Yeah, I've heard rumors that uh, you, if you've spent over 100k in X on uh, combat arms, then you only then would would you receive those free goodies. But then again, I'm, those are just rumors. I don't know if um, if that's true. In any case, I received them, so it might have a little bit of justification. If you know people sp already spent 100 dollars on this game, then they would get such things. Because I mean, I obviously did. So let's get started on the review. Enough chit chat. So because I'm doing this review so early. Um, the Common Arms Wookie hasn't had a chance to update its page on the, you know, the XM8s and stuff. So, I'm just going to have to go on pure subjectiveness here. So, what I can tell you about the Scorpions and Spiders XM8, I'll just call it the new XM8s. What, what I can tell you about the new XM8s are, is that the damage seems to be increased by a little bit. The <coughs> Once again, I do apologize for this occasional, <clears throat> I'm not sick, it's just that I, this usually happens when I wake up, immediately after I wake up. So, the damage, like I mentioned, seems to be increased by a little bit. Not by too much, but it, I do feel like I'm knocking people down a lot, uh, or not really a lot, but quicker is the, is the key word there. Quicker, not by too much, but indeed. So, in any case, the... Damage profile on the XM8, uh, on the new XM8 is still pretty similar to the original XM8 though. It's only, the increase in damage is only really apparent at close range, maybe at long range too, but then the damage drop off kind of equalizes out um, to similar, to become similar to the XM8's damage profile at range in terms of damage drop off. So the long range engagements, it's going to be about the same as your normal XM8, but at close range and middle range, you're going to definitely notice that you're uh, not, you're able to knock people down a little bit more quickly. So moving on to the portability. Portability, I mean, the XM8's portability was already fast, really fast anyway. Um, so on this, I don't know what it is on the new Scorpion, or did I just call it the new Scorpion? The new XM8, so um, we're going to skip over that. It's really fast anyway for um, for an assault rifle, so that, that much you can, you know, that much you can tell. Uh, rate of fire, so I believe the rate of fire is also pretty similar to the original XM8s. Um, I'm not too sure because I don't have the cold heart stats to it and nor can I really tell when in the middle of a gunfight, but it might be a little bit faster, but I doubt it, so. Accuracy. Accuracy, I, well, I can't really tell, but without hard stats, uh, if it really did have an increase in accuracy or not, so. Uh, I mean, 
Xmates, uh, the original Xmate had an uh, accuracy of 85, I believe, and um, it was really accurate anyway because of its sniper scope. So the new Xmate, yeah, it's pretty similar. Uh, the, now the recoil, the recoil is pretty similar to the uh, original Xmates, uh, but in terms of hit fire. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. In scope tap fire, for some reason, Nexon butchered the tap fire ability on the new XM8. The original XM8 was, was really boss at tap fire. It was, it was almost better than the G36E at tap fire because all it go, it was straight up. The G36E, if you over tap fire, then your scope will go diagonally to the left to the right. The XM8 hardly ever does that. Even if you tap fire as fast as you can, it hardly ever does that, or in my experience anyway. Um, but for the new XM8, uh, the tap fire is it's it's been butchered it's it it, it, it behaves like it, it behaves like the AUG's tap fire ability like the AUG A3 variants have a really good tap fire ability much better than the AUG A1 variants anyway but I'm I'm just really disappointed in the uh, the new XMates tap fire ability. If you guys are huge tap fire fans and or not fans per se, but tap fire users, then you're gonna be severely disappointed in the uh, the new score uh, the new we have the new scorpions, the new uh, exmates, because the tap ability on the new exmates have been just shot to hell. It's it's not even there anymore. You have to tap like really like half the speed as you can with the normal uh, exmate in order to in order to have the scope just bounce straight up and down. It's not ideal at all. So. I'm I'm really dis disappointed next on that you would butcher the tap fire ability on the XM8, which was one of the strongest points of the XM8 to begin with, the tap fire ability. Why you know we keep that in? So that's my little rant on that. So tap fire ability, we already mentioned that, it sucks now, so on a new XM8, I'm really disappointed in how how it how badly it performs at tap fire, so Unfortunately, I don't know if you want to get that after that, so... Um, everything else, it behaves uh, exactly on par with the, um, the XM8 in terms of, like, um, game mechanics. Like, it has, it's got the same sprint drawbacks, sprint animation, um, reload animation. However, I will tell you that this, I think the draw speed has been increased slightly, and um, the reload speed has definitely improved. It, I think it shaves off, like, a half a second off your reload time, so... If it, this is especially apparent if you have an extended mag 2 on your XM8, it reloads pretty quickly. So it, it reloads about the same speed as like an, uh, a Rocco's AEG A3 with extended mag 2 on it, if that gives you a little bit of idea. So yeah, it basically basically whatever extended mag you have on it or magazine modification on it, it it's gonna reload pretty quickly. Uh, moving on to the fire mode, I believe the as new scorpions are only available fully automatic only. I don't think they put in a three round burst fire function on it i'll be really surprised if, it, if they did i didn't check i forgot to anyway so i don't think they did so i don't think you i, I mean most of you don't even use uh, burst fire anyway so what's the point of mentioning that um, everything else is the same, though the new X-Mates do have an enhanced magazine of 35 rounds in a magazine and 105 reserves so that's always useful um, Looks like Nexon is um, continuing the tradition of, you know, giving and giving their new weapons like enhanced magazine capacities. So I like that, and um, yeah, more ammo is always good. So as for key physical characteristics, it's just basically an X mate with like a spider or scorpion um, reskin. So you can choose whatever you want. Just because you're on like say spider's team doesn't mean you can't buy the scorpion. Um, Xmate because you think it looks better. I mean, personally speaking, I think the uh, the spiders at Xmate looks a lot better because I like the color red. A green is kind of eh to me, but you know, if I were to pick and choose, I don't plan to get this uh, for permanent because I already got next already gave it gave it to me for one day. But if I were to get it permanent, I get the scorpion because I'm on Scorpion's team. If you guys didn't know that already, so. Um, everything else is the same. Oh, the muzzle noise. The muzzle noise has also changed. Now it sounds like... What's that particular gun? It sounds like the Raven's G36. I, I have no idea why. It sounds like the Raven, Raven's G36. It, it sounds like a very... It, it's muzzle noise. a very low... Bada 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 sound. So, um... <laughs> gun invitations. You gotta have them. Anyways, so that's the muzzle noise. It does sound a lot deeper. Attachment options is the same as the original XM8 suppressors and magazine modifications only because it already got the uh, it still has the original um, Unlike 6A1 sniper scope that it's seen on the original uh, XM8 so nothing to worry about there and uh, fire team worthy and quarantine worthy there's there the XM8 is pretty good for both of them uh, actually uh, yeah for assault rifles because obviously assault rifles are good for fire team except for the X, uh, for, except for the M16 and um, for quarantine, I mean, it's got a fast rate of fire, it's got a sniper scope, it's got, and 
now with the new X Mate, it's got it's got more ammo and it's got fast portability, so maybe I can see people using it in quarantine. And now for my very personal opinions, I would say that the uh, I would say that you don't get the uh, the uh, new X Mates because honestly, if you've got the original X M Eight, I I really think you'd be able to do equally as well because although the new X Mates are better at close range. It, at long range, they're not as good, even though they do have a higher damage profile, because you're, you can't really get more shots on target because the recoil pattern is screwed up on the XM8, on the new XM8. On the original XM8, the long range capabilities was boss, but because of its really good tap fire ability, but on the new XM8, Nexon, I am disappointed. So, I recommend that you guys don't get it. If you guys are huge X Mate fans, then I suppose you can because it is off on 20% off sale, I believe. The permanent purchase is only like 22k instead of 24.9k uh, NX. So, they're having a little bit of a sale, but I don't really think it's justified enough to get it like right out the bat. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. This has been a super fast review by me, Asian Psycho, aka Tobin Cyber 98. And hopefully, this video gets up as soon as possible. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later with the other reviews on the MP5 SD6 the, and the Legion Scorpion. The Legion um, mini machine gun, which is technically a mini, a mini gun for oh, non specs. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys later. You could shit that.